And we back! It's March Madness time, which means it is time for me to turn my favorite league to the best the best tournament of all time. All 30 NBA teams are gonna be entered into a win or go home bracket, NCAA March Madness style, which is beautiful because some of our favorite teams have no chance to win in a real championship, but in this one, when it's one game elimination, anything can really happen. Here's our bracket, ladies and gentlemen. This is all based on the standings as of today. Obviously in the NBA, one day could change a lot of things, but this is how it goes right now. And because there's only 30 teams and not 32, the top two seeds, in this case, Boston Celtics and the OKC Thunder have a first round bye, but then we go down and down and down. There are a couple really good matchups here like the Dallas Mavericks versus LA Lakers Suns versus Warriors in the first round like there's a lot of cool things going on now me and the guys of, on my podcast we went through this exact bracket without the 2k just kind of talking it through and trying to figure out if things were March Madness how it would be so the link is always in the description if you want to see these four dudes uh laugh and have fun talking about basketball. That, that's all I'm saying. That's, that's all I'm saying. One quick plug. That's all I needed. Now, I think we got to start off with Miami versus Chicago and then uh, Phoenix versus the Warriors because those will let us know who's going against the one seeds in the next round. Now, because we did this last year, there were some comments on last year's video. I just went back to rewatch it and I'm adjusting some things based on what y'all said last year. Last year, you said, Kenny, if it's a win or go home situation, ain't no way in heck that these coaches be running the 10-man rotation, and you're absolutely right. So I'm adjusting our rotations to shorten the rotation so the star players are playing more than normal minutes. Also, active injuries are on. But I'm only having, like, the long-term injuries, right? So unfortunately, like, the 76ers will be without Joel Embiid, but the Cavs won't be without uh, Donovan Mitchell because his injury is not a long-term injury. You feel? Okay, cool. Are we ready for game number one? Are we ready for game number one of March Madness, ladies and gentlemen? Now, we're simcasting every single game, and if it is close enough, we will be jumping in because I need to see the Kimball Walker buzzer beaters against Pitt. Now, I know that wasn't the March Madness tournament, you know what I'm saying? It was the, it was the Big East tournament, but still, we need those type of moments. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a banger of a game until it wasn't. The Miami Heat looks like they are advancing to go against the Boston Celtics. In this one, as you can see, the, the rotations were shortened, but the Bulls had Kobe White foul out. They had Ayo Sumo foul out, so they had to play some of their lesser players. But over here, it was not Jimmy Butler having the most amazing game, but ended up being Terry Rozier. So we get the Miami Heat to advance to the next round. All right, let's do Phoenix Suns versus Warriors. Here is game number two of the schedule. Uh, there we go. We'll see exactly how this works out. Um, obviously, the firepower in a win or go home, you got Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and Bradley Beal. Let's go look at it good. But the other team does have Steph Curry. Steph Curry can sway an entire game by himself. Let's see exactly what happens. As of right now, the Suns are the higher seed in this matchup. But it looks like this is going to be a potential upset. The Golden State Warriors up by 30 points. It ballooned at one point to 30. And it looks like the Golden State Warriors are taking... Oh, my God! The Jonathan Kaminga game, 48. And then on the other hand, it was Kevin Durant, Bradley Bill, and Devin Booker did their things, but nobody else showed up. Nobody else showed up. So we do finally have our matchup set as we see OKC go against Phoenix in the next round. But now we get the rest of the uh, first round matchups done. As I'm editing this video, I realized that I advanced the Phoenix Suns and not the Golden State Warriors. So I was like, man, I got to shoot this whole video again because th that means that I messed up the Golden State Warriors' chance to win a championship again, right? So I did go out there and start to refilm this video, and OKC ends up winning anyway. So no harm done, I guess. Sorry, Warriors fans. I mean, they lost in the second round anyway. 2K okay, is making me go kind of sporadic here, but the first game we have is Brooklyn Nets versus 76ers. As I mentioned earlier, there's no Joel Embiid. So it's really Tyrese Maxey trying to take on the 76ers now. The 76ers are the higher seed here. Will that matter? Will that matter? Let's see. We have a close game. Four minutes ago, three minutes ago, our very first jump in. I'll take it. Three minutes left. Four-point lead for the Brooklyn Nets. So they're coming out to play. Let's see exactly what the story of the game is. Tyrese Max is having a very efficient game. Um, he's got Mo Bamba putting up 20 points with him. On the other side, is Cam getting buckets. It's Mikhail getting buckets, and so on and so forth. Uh, not a lot of Nicholas Claxton offensively, but it looked like he holding it down 
uh, down low. I'm actually surprised by this outcome so far. I'm surprised by this outcome so far, but I guess it's not that far-fetched without Joel Embiid. Anything can really happen. Cameron Payne in the, the closing lineup. Give it up to Buddy Hill. That's the best look you're going to get. Buddy Bottoms. One point game. Big shot, Buddy Hill, and timeout for the Brooklyn Nets. How will the Brooklyn Nets respond? They do have their best five out, at least on paper, best five. There's Cam with the ball. Now, Cam has a bunch of buckets so far. Screen. Roll by Claxton. Claxton finishes. Might have been a and one, but the ref swallowed his whistle. Two and a half minutes ago, three point game in favor of the Brooklyn Nets. Usually in March Madness, we have neutral locations. You can't do that in 2K. So, yes, we are playing in Philly. That's one big thing about having a higher C. You get that one game winning go home scenario. Uh, we got Kyle Lowry with the ball, giving it down to Tobias Harris, being guarded by Cam. Maxi with the ball again. There's another Cam guarding him. Five seconds, four seconds, step back, elbow, jump, jump shot, no good. And a big rebound by Claxton that looked like something Mo Bamba was going to hold on to, but he won't. Dennis, the menace, trying to get to the basket. He doesn't. He doesn't. Pulls it out. Takes some time off the clock. I like it. Cam, lean into his left three. No good. Okay, this is a big, big opportunity right now. Big, big opportunity. Now, Buddy Hill is no longer on the floor. He got subbed out to bring in Cal Lowry. Cal Lowry off the double screen. Ooh, Tyrese, it was just too late. Okay, Tobias, I mean, you make it 30-something million dollars. You, I want to see you do something because this whole give it to Maxi when he's six feet away from the rim ain't working. Big miss. Now, still a ton of time left. Neither of these teams look good. So I have a sneaky suspicion that the one of these teams, whoever advances, is going to eliminate the next round. one! Big time basket, Nicholas Claxton. We say it, that we don't know if he's impacting the game offensively. Oh, he missed the free throw. Well, it is still a five-point game with a minute and a half to go. Number nine with the ball. Kelly Oubre gives it up to Tyrese. And I mean, Cam has Tyrese Maxey in a torture chamber, clamping him. He's in jail. This game over with, y'all. I'm calling it. I'm calling it because Maxey, uh-oh. That's the shot that you need, though. He hit it. Okay, never mind. It ain't over. Now, he can't create on his own against Cam, but on a, when a screen hit, Bottoms, bottoms, bottoms. All right, minute to go. We get Cam at the top. What are you going to do with their big possession right here? Tyrese Maxey playing that defense just like Cam was playing defense against him. You are not getting to the basket easy, and that is a tough attempt. And just like that, the 76 key, the tie take the lead. Tyrese spin move. I don't know. 2K makes it so difficult to watch, man. Why would he do that? Why would he do that? There's a screen, though. Open himself up, Mo Bamba for the three. No good. Relying on Mo Bamba to close out the season for you is crazy. But there's an opportunity to steal good ball back, especially if Cam is taking that. Oh, my God, he hit it. Well, timeout 76ers. Four-point game, 24 seconds on the clock. You need something very fast. I watch, watch the Philly, Philly not try to get something fast. They're going to knock out 20 seconds on the shot clock for whatever reason just because 2K don't have that basketball like you. There's the ball going to Harris, who gives it to Maxi. So you need something already. You need to already put a shot up. Step back. That's a bad shot. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it more likely than not. It looks like the Brooklyn Nets are advancing to the next round of the playoffs. Brooklyn did not see that coming. Next matchup we got, it is the Charlotte Hornets versus... The New York Knicks, obviously, without Julius Randle, but we do give them the nod. We'll have an OG on an OB in that lineup, okay? Here we go. Going against the Charlotte Hornets without LaMelo. No Mark Williams. Um, no Martin brother. Yeah, this is exactly what I expected. The Knicks take care of business. Yes, yes, that is no surprise. What type of game was it, though? It was a Jalen Brunson game. Yeah, yeah, that makes all the sense in the world. It's a Jalen Brunson game. This should be an interesting one. No Alperin Shingoon, obviously, so that probably hurts because the Demonte Sabonis matchup is kind of crazy without having a real center. But ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a game. One point game, a minute and a half to go. Uh, Sacramento, what's up? What's, what's the story of the game? Let's figure that out. Story of the game is De'Aaron Fox and Demonte Sabonis, right? Uh, six man of the year potential. Malik Monk not really doing his part. Harrison Barnes is shooting it very efficiently, but he's not doing anything else. On the other side, a Dylan Brooks game? They're doing everything well-rounded. That's the team out there. It's not one guy dominating. But here we go. Sacramento down by one. They got Sabonis on the court with JaVale McGee. I'm in Thompson tries to jump that pass. He misses. Now, I'm in Thompson guarding De'Aaron. It's interesting. There's a foul on Jay Sean Tate. Why is Jay Sean Tate in the game right now? I could not answer that question. Um, and he gets taken out. All right, so that's a real lineup. That's their real starting lineup right now. 
And what a foul, I guess. 0 for 2 for Sabonis. Let's hope that don't come back to bite them because the, the media is going to look at that, man. Winner go home. You missed your free throws with a steal by De'Aaron Fox. What is Fred Van Vliet doing? What is the defense doing in transition? What is the defense doing in transition to allow De'Aaron to get that close to the basket without stopping him? One point game in favor of the Sacramento Kings now, y'all. Here we go. Number five, Fred Van Vliet brings the ball to the court. Here comes a screen from Barry Jr. Screen hits. Drop, drop, drop. Step back. No, okay. Jalen Green been on the heater in real life. I don't know if that's translated to game. There's Freddie with the ball. Top key. The pump fake is interesting. I thought you had an open look there. And he gets it over De'Aaron Fox, but it's a 46% contest or so. Good defense from De'Aaron. A basket right here goes a very long way if you're the Sacramento Kings, especially if it ends up being a three. There's a mismatch right there. Get Sabonis the ball in the paint, please. Never mind. It's De'Aaron Fox midi. That's, that's about as good as green, baby. That's about as good as green. Ball comes into Fred Van Vliet. Still a three-point game, man. Still one possession game. There's a screen. Freddie has the look. He's leaning, though. Will it matter? It will. He did not score his body, and it ends up being a miss. That's a shot we've seen Freddie take and make before, but I would love to see him score up just a little bit more. Here's the pin down, a little, not floppy, that wasn't floppy. But anyway, here's the pin down. There's a screen by DeMontis Sabonis. Tough shot, De'Aaron Fox. It's only said 10% contested somehow, but he stepped right into the defense. Here's Freddie, still a three-point game, still a three-point game. Yeah, it has to be the Fred Van Vliet show, right? It has to be. I'm in times of sitting at the perimeter like somebody going to guard him out there. Uh-oh, take the baby to the basket? No, they got to do something. Five seconds. Heavily contested three from Freddie, and ladies and gentlemen, that is probably it. Free throws go up, and they're good. At least one of them was, and that is enough to say the Sacramento Kings advance. De'Aaron and DeMontis Sabonis carried them. Exactly what you expect, really. That Those two dudes are electric, but now we see them advance to the second round. Next, we're going to have Clippers versus Memphis Grizzlies. Um, Grizzlies are really beat up. The Clippers should take care of business, but it is March Madness. It is one game elimination, so you never really know. Out the gate, the Grizzlies take the lead. Oh my God, are we seeing our very first up? Nope, there's that third quarter. Okay, the third quarter dominated by the Clippers. All right, so we, we are yet to see like a big surprise that looked like it could have been the game. Something happened in that second half. It's gonna be Clippers advance into the next round. Pistons Cavs is the very next game. Um, relatively healthy teams other than Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley's the only starter amongst both teams that are injured right now. Will that matter? I don't know. The Pistons don't have a ton of wins on the season, but they do got a ton of people that are college basketball aged, and maybe that'll help them out. So far, they're making it a game, though. They have a four-point lead with four minutes to go. You gots to jump in. It's a four-point lead for the Detroit Pistons. Are we about to see? This would be an extreme upset. An extreme, extreme upset because the Pistons do not have games won. A, a lot of games won this season. It is a lot of Donovan Mitchell. Garland's not having the best game. Um, none of the role players have really stepped up. But on the other hand, it is Cade now. Look at Cade. Fontecchio. Tech off the bench. Come on, man. All right, here we go. Four-point lead. Can they get in there? Oh, my God. Wait. Wait, you supposed to go up with that. Jalen Duran was kind of kind of sucked into that, that paint right there. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought Sam Morel got an open three, but no good. Tech is there. Ten seconds to go. Great defense right now for the young Detroit Pistons. Could they be the Cinderella team of the video? Jared Allen stopped and popped, and he tipped dunked his own miss. Game over. Cavs come back to win this one. Uh, no, no, no way you let a man take an elbow jump shot and tip dunk his own miss. No way. No way. But Kay got the got the advantage in size over Darius Garland. Now, this is where things get kind of stinky because 2 okay? Because it's not many situations where J.B. Bickerstaff is going to let Darius Garland guard Cade Cunningham. But since they're both the point guard, oh my God, what a tough shot. But since they're both the point guard, 2K is going to be like, yeah, let the smallest man on the court guard the 6'6 point guard, please. It's just not the way it would work in real life. Either way, um, anything is really possible. Cade is trying to force that, that way to the basket because he's just got the size advantage. Here's a screen from James Wiseman. He slips it, but nothing happens. Cade step back, and that's in too. Wow, Cade and them are a minute away from pulling off the first really big upset of the video. Like, I cannot tell you how significant of an upset this is. This, I mean, the Cavaliers are the three seed in real life, and the Pistons are dead ass last. So this is a huge, huge, I'm sorry, they're second to last, which is our last right now. But this would be a huge, huge game for them if they can make it happen. And what a terrible offensive possession and ends in a turnover. Ladies and gentlemen, D. 
Detroit basketball with a huge, huge upset as they advance to see the Brooklyn. Oh, my God. They might end up making it even further. They might end up making it even further. I, I can't tell you for sure. But they match up pretty well against the Brooklyn Nets. Next, we have Raptors versus Magic. In this one, of course, no Scotty Barnes. Um, I did let RJ Bear play. I know that he, his family's going through some really personal stuff. I, some of the saddest stuff I've ever read. But we're going to let him hoop today um, and see what happens. Let's see what happens, man. Here we go. We are in Orlando with it. Uh, and will that matter? I guess we're about to see. It is a early lead for the Orlando Magic, and it doesn't look like there's a bunch of fight in the Toronto Raptors today. They only put up 79 points in an NBA game. Franz Wagner and Paolo Bancaro spaz, and on the other side, not a great performance for many people on the Raptors. So, the Raptors do get a limit. Next, we got Portland versus Denver, okay? Um, one thing I do want to say, don't pay attention to the 2K numbers next to their, their seedings. Obviously, Okay, uh, Orlando's not the one seed. Just trust, please, just trust me. Please, just trust me. It's gonna make sense. It's gonna make sense eventually. All right. So our defending champion is. Oh my God, they're down in the first quarter, but the second quarter is all Denver Nuggets, and it does not look like it's gonna be a real game here. Um, six points with two minutes ago. Seven points. One point. A uh, two point game with 20 seconds to go. Now they could just be in the foul game. This is. A game where the uh, the Nuggets have the ball right now, but I still got to jump in just in case. Jokic almost has a 50-20 game. School Henderson, shout out to the Rook for coming out and having a good game. But it's not over because uh, missed free throws go a long way, but we, we got to see if he missed these free throws first, right? If he makes both of these, then it's, it probably is over. First one is up, Jamal Murray, cash, 100%. Um, he green released that one. He's clutch. Can he hit two in a row? Please don't. I just want dramatics. He makes both four-point game. And it does end up ending in a win for the Denver Nuggets. All right. That's kind of what we expected. Okay, so we're almost done with the first half of the first round. We still got a couple more that we got to get to, but almost done with the first half of the first round. After this game, we'll be down to a legit 16, I think. Oh, no, that's not true. That's definitely not true. Either way, the Pelicans have the home court advantage in this one versus the Utah Jazz. Get a frisky Utah Jazz, make some noise. And ladies and gentlemen, it look like they make at least a little bit, a little bit of noise. I'm loving that we get in some close games, man. That's one thing we need. And this one is another close game. It's another close game. Four-point game with a minute and a half to go. We, we jumping in, baby. We have to jump into almost every game because that's how close March Madness has been so far in this first round. So let's see exactly what we got. CJ and Brandon Ingram and Zion all have 20 plus. And on the other side, Larry Markin is the sole 20 point score right now. They're down by four with a minute and a half to go. Larry Markin is on the bench closing out this game. Unless this man fouled out, this is malpractice. Unless he fouled out, which I don't, I don't believe he did. He did. Wow. All right. Well. I'm going to say this is a GG then. No Larry Marketing. Uh, really no chance, if you ask me. And I was I would be correct. That was a good assumption, Kenny. We ain't have to watch them play without Larry Marketing. But he found out. So just like that, the Pelicans do advance to the next round. So next thing we got to do is set these last four games up. We're going to have uh, Indiana versus Atlanta. Milwaukee versus Washington. We got the uh, Mavericks versus Lakers. And then Timberwolves versus Spurs. Um... Hey, you didn't miss nothing. Uh, this is one of the last games left. The Wizards, the Wizards are making this a game. Um, it is very close with just two and a half minutes to go. So we're jumping in. So far, we've had nothing but great stuff happening. Another jump in scenario. Can we see an upset? This will be the two seed in the entire Eastern Conference going down to the worst team in the entire league. Jordan Poole with a huge shot with two and a half minutes to go. Chris Middleton's coming off the bench. It's basically one of the few times where we have the Bucks completely healthy. Um, there's Giannis coming up. He does not get the touch. But here's some floppy action for Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard, midi jump shot is good. He's got 42 points right now. Timeout. Washington Wizards. Tyus Jones brings the ball at the court. Jordan Poole is off the off the court, so they're going basically with a, a version of their starting lineup. There's Bagley, lob to Denny Abdiya. What a pass. Denny smokes the layup, gets it back, and it goes back up to give his team the one-point lead. Only one timeout both ways for the last two minutes of play. Cal uh, Kuzma has to guard Giannis. I don't like his chances because this is an open court. There's a double coming. He hit the wrong guy. They should have hit Dame. You do not double off Dame. That I don't know. I don't know why you're thinking that's the right thing to do. Here's a screen from Brooke Lopez. Dame step back. 
And he hits it. Dame. Oh, my God. He's got 46. He's got 46. 20 points in the fourth quarter alone. Dame is deep into his bag. Kuzma trying to force his way to the basket. It is not over for the Wizards, man. The offense is very stagnant, though. That's the one thing. There's a screen. He goes up on Giannis like Giannis is not a, a former DPOY. And here's 32 with a head full of 34 with a head full of steam. Doesn't get it. They're going through Dame in this one. There's a screen. The Giannis pick and roll with Dame. Fires! He hits it. Five point game. It's all Dame Dollar. 23 points in the fourth quarter is insane stuff in a winner go home game. And an offensive foul, illegal screen, Marvin Bagley. Ladies and gentlemen, is that it? What a push. What a push for the Washington Wizards, but 51 points for Damian Lillard. He was amazing. If that's the Dame they get in this series or this run, then I don't know how you're going to beat that team. Now, granted, the Wizards almost did. Next game we got is the San Antonio Spurs versus the Minnesota Timberwolves without Carl Anthony Towns, obviously. Again, out with his injury. Uh, the Frenchman at the center position, Anthony Edwards going against Devin Vassell, I guess. Let's get into it. Again, it could be an upset. You never really know. Victor Wimanyama is a freak of nature. And they do go on a nice little run. Another somewhat close game right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can we see one of the top seeds go down? They do. The Minnesota Timberwolves have been eliminated. I mean, Anthony Edwards gave it his all. 59 points. But Wimby. But Wimby. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, y'all. Um, that is a huge, huge upset. That's as big of an upset as the Detroit Pistons beating the Cavs and the Wizards almost beating the Milwaukee Bucks. I cannot explain to y'all how ridiculous that really is. Could they be the Cinderella team? I don't know. Today, 2K is such a bad game that Vet Kregi, who's been on the roster for the Hawks for some time and playing games for them, is not even on the rock the roster. So, so blame 2K. A vet Kregi was going to be the reason y'all won this game, Atlanta. I don't know. But no Trey Young. Obviously, he's been out with that injury. And will that matter? So far, it has. And it looks as though we got to jump. I cannot believe the amount of games we've had to jump into. This is just the first round, y'all. I want to remind you. This is just the first round. Things should be better and better and better as time goes on. So we got a bunch of 20-point games for the Pacers here. Miles Turner's at the top there. And then over here, it's a well-rounded game from a lot of different dudes. Uh, we are in Indiana. One-point game. Minute and a half-ish to go. Tyrese Halliburton looking for the ball. Instead, it goes to Andrew Nimhart. Probably going to screen. No, it is a Pascal Siakam versus Garrison Matthews. That's a good take. If I was Pascal Siakam and I saw Garrison Matthews, I'd go straight at his neck too. That's the 20th point for Pascal. Only 35% for the field. So not his best shooting night. But it is what it is. It's a big bucket in the big time. And that if you get to that point in the in the court on 2K and you take that midi or that one foot jump shot, whatever, it's gonna go in. Best believe it. As long as it's not 100 percent contested, it will go in. Here is oh my god, you pass out of that? Oh my god, turnover. And then you get DeJounte Murray giving the Atlanta Hawks a one-point lead with a minute to go. Costly, costly turnover. I mean, Tyrese Halliburton hasn't even touched the ball just yet. It's been all Pascal. And Pascal takes the exact same jump shot I was just talking about, but in the other side. That's literally an unguardable shot. <laughs> in this universe, that is an unguardable shot. It is what it is. All right, here we go. We continue to see greatness, maybe. Kobe Bufkin, who's not even really playing in real life because he got injured too, tries to take Tyrese Halliburton off the, off the, uh, off the bounce. This is the ball you want to give it to. You want to give it to DeJounte. It's the same shot. Oh, he missed one. Oh, that is a huge miss. That's a huge miss. Tyrese is just not going to touch the ball this entire time. Wow. Pascal jumps at the elbow. No good. Nimhar with the ball. He's got 10 seconds to make a decision. Gives it back to 43. And he turns it over again. Pascal is putting up a stinker. And... DeJounte gets to his spots and his bottoms. Is Pascal serious? Two turnovers in the last minute and 40 seconds. Both of them ending in a fast break opportunity and basket for the Atlanta Hawks. And that could be the season. And it goes to Pascal again. I swear to you. Are, are, is he mad at number zero? Downhill. Pascal doubled. He goes straight up. Oh, my God. 
Wow. Now, Foul and Clint Capella is probably the best case scenario. They'll still have an opportunity to win this game, maybe. But they got zero timeouts. Clint Capella, first shot is up, and it's in. Huge basket right there. Another free throw make is like the biggest shot of Clint Capella's career. He misses the second with no timeouts. It goes straight to Pascal. Wow. Wow. Tyrese does not touch the ball at all. Six seconds to go. Five seconds to go. I saw DeAndre Hunter on an island by himself. He does not get the stop. Pascal redeems himself. It is a one-point game, y'all. One-point game. The ball will be advanced. Can they get a good look off? It has to go DeJounte, right? It has to go DeJounte. He's put up some big baskets in this one. He's open right there. He's open. He's open. What are we looking at? He gets a clean look. He misses it, though. Wow. He was open well before that ball got to him. He was open well. Look, he's open right now. He's open right now off the break. All right. Well, we're going to overtime. And no, we're not about to sit here and watch five minutes of overtime. We will simcast it again. And if it's close with 30 seconds ago, we will jump in. Here we go. Five minutes. And it's not very close. It ends up being the Pacers. Ends up being the Pacers. Pascal really tried to throw the game and then eventually saved it. Now, a 2020 game from Tyrese is insane. But... We do see the Indiana Pacers advance to the next round. So the last matchup we have in the first round is Dallas Mavericks versus LA Lakers. Could this be an upset opportunity for the LA Lakers? We're about to see. They do not have home court, obviously. The Mavericks are the higher seeded team. And so far, it is back and forth. Again, I love the fact that every single one of these games has been close so far, man. I love it. And a tie game with two minutes ago, Brian and AD versus Kyrie and Luka. You love to see it. 107-107. Right now, it's Luka Doncic with a triple-double. And then we got uh, Kyrie with 27. On the other side, LeBron James with 32. Anthony Davis with a 20-15 and 15 game. Let's see how this one ends with two minutes to go. Tie game. And we are, are in American Airlines Center, not arena. American Airlines Center. You got to make sure you say it right because Mavs fans will get mad at you for whatever reason. Here we go. Because I've been there. Luka straight to the basket like nobody was there. That's practice. That's a practice shot. They don't have a Luka answer. But I don't know if the uh, Mavericks have an Anthony Davis or LeBron answer. Will 2K give, give them the ball? There is some floppy. And then there is Anthony Davis rolling. Nothing there. It's congested. Brown with the ball. This is the, this is the matchup you want. 23 gives it down to 3. Who gives it back out to 15? AR gives it up to Braun, who may have traveled, but gets a good shot up and it's a tie game again. Braun dripping sweat because that's what 2K cares about. With a big old basket, 34 points for the 39-year-old. Luca with the ball, top of the key. There's a double screen from Kyrie Irving. Luca said, nah, I got this. He gets to the basket over Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis to the block. One of the Supremes, uh, uh, some shot blockers, rim protection, all the basketball. LeBron with the longest two in NBA history. He hits it. Why did he not get his feet behind the line? I don't know. Torian Prince with the big pass, I guess, because they even cut to him. Huge possession right here. 77 with the ball being guarded by D'Angelo Russell. It is congested. He steps back at the midi. He throws up a shot. It was open, I guess, but he missed it. AD with the ball and a push. Are they trying to get something easy, something quick? They take, they take the ball out. Drain some time. Smart, Braun. It's one out, four down. AD was nowhere to be found, and now he needs to be found. It's a minute to go, and LeBron just did the silencer. Oh, man. It is a minute to go. Luca, what do you have for us, my boy? 38 points for Braun. Screen Gafford. A roll. A roll. Anthony Davis fouls Luka this time. Luka's not the best free throw shooter, but he's definitely not the worst. He's a good clutch free throw shooter. And that said 98%. Yeah, he's a good clutch free throw shooter. He is 4 of 18 from 3 tonight. Maybe settling a little bit too much. Two-point game. And the Lakers can have an opportunity to drain this down to about, about one shot clock left, man. Will they do that? LeBron, like, he going. Rui gives it back up. Okay. All right. So, he's not. He's holding it out 10 seconds ago, but he's been guarded by jo Josh Green. Oh, Derrick Jones Jr. with a huge help and a block. And just like uh, Luka, uh, James, LeBron James not the greatest free throw shooter. He is the first one. That said 90%, so he's probably going to the second one, too. But anything can happen. The second one is up. He missed it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right. This is huge. A huge opportunity. If they rebound well on defense, they do have another possession coming their way. No, they do not. Just like that, it's gone. Luka goes to the basket against Bron. He misses it. Wow. And Bron is fouled. He just missed one down the other side, but I don't think he's going 0 for 2. And if he does, we'll jump in. He doesn't. 
free throw game. It is an upset. The LA Lakers behind bronze 41 is advancing to the next round. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we do completely have our round of 16. Biggest upsets, we do see the Spurs advancing. We did see the Pistons advancing and the Brooklyn Nets advancing. First game of the second round, the most improbable second round matchup. One of these two teams is going to the Sweet 16. Wait, we're in the Sweet 16. One of these teams going to the Elite Eight. Are we serious here? And the answer is yes. And Brook Brooklyn, it looks like you're losing today. Detroit destroys the Brooklyn Nets in the first game of the second round, and it's not even close. Wow. Detroit basketball is back, ladies and gentlemen. So the next game we have, got to make sure Jalen Suggs is starting, uh, but the next game we have is Knicks versus the Orlando Magic. And somehow they're the one team that I forgot to take control of. Is it too late? 2K, don't say, oh my God, don't say it's too late. I can't control them. Um, all right, well, here we go. Simcastic New York Knicks versus versus the Orlando Magic. Jalen Suggs is coming off the bench. And I guess it don't matter because the game was very, very close. Here we go. Here we go. Can we get another jump in scenario? It does not look like it. The Orlando Magic do not have enough to slow down Jalen Brunson. <laughs> Maybe that would have been Jalen Suggs. <laughs> No, nah, it wouldn't have been. We just saw this man put up 50 in the first round. They want slowing that man down. All right, so the next game we're going to have is probably this 3-6 over here. It is. We have Sacramento Kings versus the Denver Nuggets. Everything looks looks cool there, so let's get into it. Do we see the defending champions go down? Ladies and gentlemen, the answer is maybe. They fall back in that second quarter, but the Sacramento Kings are eliminating our defending champions. Wow. Sacramento, Jokic had a 30-point triple-double. Jamal Murray struggled. Reggie Jackson fouled out. Um, Keegan Murray. Keegan! Seven for seven from three. Kevin Herter fouled out. Didn't matter. And boy, is that a huge, huge upset right there. Next, we got Pelicans versus Clippers. Now, this is a matchup that we're probably going to see in the playoffs in real life. So, let's see what happens in a one-game elimination. There's home court advantage for the, uh, the Clippers. Does not matter. The Pelicans. Look at the Pelican fly. He's going to the next round. All right. How? Don't don't let it be that all of the jump in games are in the first round. Then after that, we don't get nothing. The Kawhi Leonard struggled in this one. Three of ten. Uh, Paul George was great. James Harden was great. But the depth, man, the depth was real. All right. That's pretty cool. Pacers versus Bucks is the next. Now in real life, these two teams got a little bit of beef. Why is Benedict Mathurin in the lineup? I swore he was injured. I swear he's injured, bro. I don't control the team. So, what we can't... I think we can still injure him. <laughs> oh, my God. This sounds terrible. Um, we can still injure him. But the only problem is we can't put the real person in the starting lineup. I don't know how, again, I look past that. But, boom, now he's out with a ruptured Achilles. And he's out for a significant amount of time. They're going to make their adjustments, which is probably... What, what are they going to do? They're going to bring in Aaron e. Smith to start, which, again, is what they're doing in real life anyway. And, and Andrew Nemhard is that too. All right, so here we go. This team, These teams have a little bit of beef based on a 50-point game ball or 60-point game ball. I don't remember exactly what it was. I forget that fast. But it is a lot of bucks, and the bucks will advance to, to see the next round. Dame with another electric game. Giannis had a bunch of rebounds, including eight offensive, which might have mattered, but he wasn't as uh, great as we think he can be. It's still the Damian Lillard show. Cool. Lakers versus Spurs. Nope, I'm sorry. Heat versus Celtics is next. The Celtics are finally done. They're finally, they're finally done with their hibernation of being getting that first round by. Was it for not? Now y'all know these two teams got some bad blood too. They go against each other every year in the playoffs. Playoffs, I feel like. And in a one-game elimination, y'all, stay close. Oh, it's no longer close. Wow. The Miami Heat eliminate the Boston Celtics. The Celtics see Jalen Brown foul out, but Jason Tatum had a great game. Jalen Brown fouled out. And on the other side, Jimmy Butler, Terry Rozier, and Bam Adebayo all have amazing games. I mean, Tyler Hero almost shot him out of it. Golly, your A button must be broken. But he did tie, you know, with most assists in the game. But wow, the one seed has fallen, ladies and gentlemen. I repeat, the one seed has fallen. So now we get Victor Wimbanyama versus LeBron James, the past and the current versus the future, I guess. Here we go. Lakers, please give me a game to jump into. I want to see Victor Wimbanyama play. And just, just, just be close. 
It's not very close. It, we have blowouts galore in this second round. Wow. And in this one, it was Braun being Braun. That's the second game where Braun has put up 40 plus points. And the last game of the Sweet 16, we just saw the other one C go down. Can we see the next one C go down by the hands of the Phoenix Suns? First quarter is close. We can't take anything away from that. But here's here's the here's the fight. Here's the fight we've been waiting for. It's close-ish. Make it good. Make it a good game. Yes! There's the run. Yes! I needed something. We could not go this whole round without jumping into at least one game. Isaiah Joe's at the free throw line. Shea has his normal 30. And on the other side, Devin Booker's playing great. Only 10 shot attempts for Kevin Durant so far. So maybe not ideal if you want to see the, the Suns win. But they've held their own until now with that being the case. All right. Two-point game. Two free throws by Isaiah Joe went up and in. Um, okay, I'm trying to look at the lineups. Everything looks pretty good. I'm okay with the lineups that both teams are running right now. Other than Kevin being on the bench with his hood up. Um, <laughs> that's the only thing. Now, only thing I can think of, Bradley Beal step back, is that Kevin fouled out. We, that's something we did not check, and that would be the case. Also, Nurkic is fouled out. So that makes sense that they, they're out two starters. But that's a huge shot to tie the game. Now, there's a lot of advantage for OKC having Kevin Durant and Yusuf Nurkic out with a foul out. They got to keep them hands to themselves. There's a Shea post-touch. Big guarded by Booker. Right hand hook is no good. It was open, but maybe not the best look right there. It's a one-on-five. Bradley Beal said one-on-what? -on what? One one-on-one. Buckets Bradley Beal. And just like that, the one seed is down by two points with a minute to go. Can they, can they make this happen? I don't know. Shea with the spin. Guarded by Book. Good backdoor cut by Lou Dorr, but great help. On the backside by Drew Eubanks. Please give the ball up to Devin Booker. Grayson. Oh, he gives it straight down to Drew Eubanks. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. That's a terrible possession. Give the ball to Devin Booker and get the hell out of the way if you ask me. Number two, Shea gives it up to J-Dub. J-Dub, big three. Bang! With 42 seconds to go. That is a huge shot to put them up by one with 40 seconds to go. The ball finally does go to Devin Booker's hands. He's being guarded by Shea. Tough attempt. No good. He gets his own rebound. Kicks it out to Bradley. Bradley built for three. Bang! Wow. Wow. No timeouts used by OKC. It is a two-point game. Shea is usually silky smooth and good under pressure. Let's see what he does. A timeout does this happen. Coach Mark Dayton calls timeout. And just like that, we, we oh, I'm excited for this one. Can we see both one seeds lose in the very first chance they get to play? That would be something. That would be something. But that's NBA basketball, baby. Anybody can win on any given night. So Isaiah Joe is out. Josh Giddy is in. Shea's getting down to the basket. Kicks out to J-Dub. Another. Oh, he passed it up. I thought he was open. It does get to Shea's hand again, though. They're helping very hard off Lou Dort. Lou Dort. Bang. Oh, my God. That's three bang calls. Three huge threes back to back to back. And it's still 15 seconds to go. Phoenix got a lot of time. They only need two points. One basket to go to the Elite Eight. Two points, one basket to go to the Elite Eight. Bradley Beal with the ball being guarded by Josh Giddy. He gets to the elbow, but Drew Eubanks is there clogging up a lot of space. They're going with seven seconds. It is Bradley Beal's chance to shine. He takes a leaning three, and he misses it. And it's .9 seconds on the clock. No timeouts for the Suns. But he had time, in my opinion, to square up potentially. The, the the run is probably ending for the Suns right here, unless they get a half-court heave that goes in, which I guess is possible. The ball goes to Devin Booker. Devin Armani Booker! He almost does it! And just like that, the series... I'm sorry, the game is over. I think his middle name is Armani. I could be wrong, but I think so. And that's it. that was a beautiful game. That is probably the best jump-in game we've had so far. So shout-out to both of those teams for, for bringing an A game. So our Elite Eight is set. We got OKC New Orleans. We got Los Angeles, Sacramento. We got New York, Miami. We got Milwaukee versus Detroit. What is the first game that we're going to see? It's going to be Kings versus Lakers. All right, let's get into it. The King going against the Kings. You feel me? The King going against the Kings. Will it be another close one that we get to jump into? Hopefully so. So far, yes, is the answer to that. Until it wasn't. A fourth quarter run of 24-6 to six to start it. And the LA Lakers legendary potentially legendary run is over and the sacramento kings have pushed them their way into the final four the next game we're going to see is the two six down here 
it's going to be Cade and them versus Dame and them. It's not even Giannis and them no more because Dame has been the better player through the first two games of, of March Madness. And because Giannis didn't play college ball, duh, he not used to this. This right now is insane. The, 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 the Detroit Pistons are going to the final four. Are you serious? Jaden Ivey with 28, five for five from three. And then also Jalen Duran with a double-double, K with a double-double. Are we being for real? The one of the two worst teams in basketball is advancing again. Now, if that's not a Cinderella story, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. What else could classify? S Simone Fontecchio got injured? Um, we'll, we'll fix that later, I guess. We need to focus on this game because this will let us know who the Kings get to see in that final four. Will it be the OKC? Will it be the New Orleans Pelicans? So far, it is a lot of OKC, and I don't personally think they're going to look back, but that's exactly what they did. I was just talking. I was just talking. It is the Pelicans moving on to the next round with a convincing, convincing win. CJ, not even Brandon Ingram, but Trey Murphy and Zion all have 20-plus. And the last game of the Elite Eight sees two teams that also have had their dog fights throughout the years, two gritty, gritty teams with some experience, but it is the Miami Heat. How do they do it every single year, y'all? How do they do it every single year? That is a huge, huge blowout behind Jimmy Butler and Bam with his double-double. Now, this may not seem like a lot to y'all, but Fontecchio going down with that injury matters, man. It does. And you know what? I'm going to give Tech the benefit of the doubt and say, hey, that injury won nothing, man. I want to see the Cinderella team do some crazy stuff. I would love to see this team in the NBA in March Madness Finals. I would love to see it. So, I'm going to make sure. Listen, it's Fontecchio. This ain't Braun. You know what I'm saying? It's not, you know what I'm saying? You're like the seventh best player on the team. Relax. But we do get to see our final four here. Zeke Nagy day-to-day, we'll deal with that. Zenkov is back, we'll deal with that later. This is the matchup. The Miami Heat have a chance to punch their way to it. Will they be able to do it? I don't know. That first quarter is all Miami Heat, but the second quarter is all Okay, it's not all, but it was very close to Detroit basketball. But just like that, y'all, the Miami Heat have advanced to the finals again. They continue to do it. And the legendary run of the Detroit Pistons ends at the final four. But we got to give them a round of applause, man. Because they, they have no business being in this scenario where they're even competing to get to the final. And lastly, we got this one. Which of these teams? Dyson Daniels is back? No, he not. Josh Richardson is back? No, he not. Kevin Love is back? No, he not. Tyler Hero's back? No, he not. No, I'm joking. All of those guys were playing, right? Tyler Hero and them played last game anyway. Yeah, Tyler Hero, Kevin Love, all of those dudes played. It's really about this. It's really about this. Pelicans versus Kings. And the Pelicans are dominating through the first quarter. Did it through the second. It's over. Dang, neither of our games was good enough for us to be able to jump in there. Either way, our final. Who would have saw it happening? The Pelicans and the Miami Heat in a win or go home game. The champion will be crowned today. Who am I rooting for? I'm rooting for a game that we can jump into. If this is a blowout, it's a disgrace to the association. And so far, it's close enough that we feel like there's going to be a jump in. Come on. Pelicans fight. Fight Pelicans is 10. It's 7. It's 7. Ladies and gentlemen, the Miami Heat do it again man how do they keep doing it how do they keep doing it in a march madness style bracket the miami heat are gonna go out there and be champions step back brandon ingram i don't know his jump shot it was contested anyway the miami heat are your champions y'all wow 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 i didn't even get to look at the stats so i don't know who the finals mvp is gonna be i would assume it's gonna be jimmy butler oh Okay, Brandon, um, something, you know what, we're going to let Brandon have this one, we're going to let Brandon have this one, we're going to let Brandon have this one, uh, oh, CJ won, oh no, CJ lost, right, duh, Bam, Finals MVP, Bam of the Bio Finals MVP, let me see it, let me see it, Bam of the Bio Finals MVP, unless they're going to give it to CJ, and it wouldn't go home, Terrell G, real, okay, 23 and 5 is better than what Bam just did, are you serious? Wait, 23 and 5 is better than Bam? What? Bam got... Man, stop it. Well, 
Ladies and gentlemen, we turned the NBA into March Madness and the Miami Heat came out on top. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, hit the link in the description, go watch the podcast, subscribe to that channel, and I'll see y'all soon.